there internet. So about a month ago I was just walking around and some random guy came up to me and he started hitting on me and he started walking around with me and I was trying to shake him off and I happened to come across some people from the revolutionary communist party who wanted to sell me their newspaper. Yeah. So I talked to one of them about politics for about an hour until that guy who had hit on me decided to leave. He was a Republican. So the guy from the Communist Party started talking to me about Bernie Sanders and about drones and you know how problematic Bernie Sanders can be and I was trying to figure out who he was voting for because he clearly was not voting for Bernie Sanders. I asked him how he felt about the Green Party, if they were any better. He didn't like them. He told me that he doesn't vote for candidates. He votes for like policies and stuff but not for the actual candidates who are running for president. And after an hour of talking to him about politics, I decided to leave and one of the other women from the Revolutionary Communist Party, she said, oh I hope we can talk you out of voting for Bernie Sanders. And I was like, uh, yeah, not a chance in hell. Because I do agree with them on the issue of drones. There are some things that I dislike about Bernie Sanders and I'm not a big fan of how a lot of Bernie Sanders supporters seem to think that he's like Jesus, you know, they put him on a pedestal, which I don't think is very healthy at all. But I do think that he is the best person running and that is why I want to vote for him. And with the communists that I talked to on that day, they weren't even saying don't vote for Bernie Sanders because we have an even better person that you can vote for. They were just saying don't vote at all, which is not my cup of tea whatsoever. And before I tell you why I do not believe in abstaining from voting and all of that, uh, please note that I am not blaming anybody who's been prevented from voting, who cannot vote, or who find it very difficult to vote. No, I'm not judging you for not voting if you can't vote. But I can vote, therefore I will vote, and this is why. Firstly, my ancestors fought a very difficult, very dangerous battle so that I can have the right to vote. I am a woman. Women have not always had the right to vote. And also, brown skin. So I've been making my way through this book. I've got The Light of Freedom, The Organizing Tradition, and The Mississippi Freedom Struggle. I'm reading about this huge struggle that happened when people were trying to help black people register to vote and when somebody did register to vote and then they were visited by the Ku Klux Klan and were lynched and it's like it's so fucked up and they put their lives on the line so that I could have the right to vote. And I do not believe that I am honoring their sacrifice if I don't vote. So my second reason for not not voting is I don't believe that by not voting that you're sticking it to the man. What you're doing is giving the man more voting power because you're not offering competition for him in the polls. When people look at voter turnout and especially how voter turnout is very low for young people, they can interpret that a number of ways. Either some people couldn't vote, some people could vote but didn't give a shit, weren't informed, were too lazy, whatever. And yes, maybe some people who didn't vote didn't vote because they didn't like the current two-party system and didn't like anybody who was currently running. How are people supposed to know which one of you guys didn't vote because you were too lazy and which ones of you guys didn't vote because you're protesting. I don't think that being passive is a very efficient protest. And even if we say that those people who did not vote didn't vote because 
they don't like the system or they didn't like the candidates or whatever, what would be the more preferable candidate? Would you want more conservative, more progressive? My point is, I think that if you want to protest the two-party system, the best way to protest that is to vote for an independent candidate or make up your own political party and vote for that person. That independent person or Green Party candidate or person from whatever party you make up, that person's probably not going to become president, but by voting for them, you are still sending a message that these are the standards that I have. This is what I want out of a presidential candidate. Neither the Democrats nor the Republicans are worthy of my vote. And that might be why should Bernie Sanders not become the Democratic nominee. I'm, I'm sure that I might be committing social suicide by saying this because I know how controversial it is, but I think I might vote for Jill Stein in November if Hillary becomes the nominee. I don't, I don't think that the Democrats deserve my undying support just because they're not Republicans. I think that I'd rather vote for somebody who better represents my values. Here's my take on voting, on not voting, and if you're somebody who does not vote because you think that there's something revolutionary about it, please explain that concept to me down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.